Welcome back, New Game, New Rules. I'm Beaker, and today we're going to mold uh, Don't Be Sad, How to Hack a Poonani, Incorporated in a Peanut Butter, and then a Snow Cone. I'm going there. Then I'll do Cattle Mutilations, or I'll do my first two love story, whichever you guys want to choose. Throw it up in the comments if you like this. So let's hack a Poonani. Sad, Don't Be Sad, Serotonin, Adrenaline, and dopamine are all you need. Really simple. Love butterflies, and we're swiping right here, folks. I did the prelims in the last two videos. This is part three of Let's Swipe Right, Hakapunani, and get rid of all those credit card monsters and look for true love and be honest. Go up again. So watch. Serotonin, adrenaline, dopamine. Love butterflies, and bang, 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 squirt, squirt, squirt. Adrenaline. Controlled by spanks, touching erotic zones like the nipples. Let's go all the way back, though, before we hack the actual orgasm. Okay? How do we earn a blush? You lick their neck, suck on their earlobe, and gently jam your tongue in their ear. If they blush, you might have a go. Their face will turn red and light up. You'll know. Eighth grade Dr. Seuss, folks. Too easy. Now, let's do the definition of love. Well, that includes butterflies in a tummy that you can't see, just like your heart, your mind tra trained your soul to be. I'm free flown, by the way. I'm not reading. I'm rolling my eyes. Here, I'll roll my eyes. Oh, I didn't write on the ceiling, if you want to see. So here we go. What's the definition of love? When you get butterflies, you clearly draw lines in the sand on what you're both into, not into, not just sexually, folks. All the things you enjoy in life, your work, your free time, how you enjoy everything. Here we go. We're going to start out with the snow cone. A girl asked me online, I told her, ask me anything. She said, what's your definition of an orgasm? I said, that's too easy. My mom would take me to Huntington Beach and I'd surf with my buddy, do backflips off the pier. That's my destiny. I love marine biology one of my majors in life even though I don't have one in college just in real life so here we go my mom actually gets credit dedicated to anonymous my mother and my girlfriend's mother who chaperoned me having sex for the first time if you can believe that I needed a tu tutorial so here we go while I'm at the beach you dehydrate like a son of a gun and we're poor Snow cones were like a quarter, 35 cents, depending which vendor you get it from. And my mom would always watch me eating food because I'm weird. I'm gifted, blessed, and a Mensa. So we're kind of different with food, but I like sugar, sugar, sugar. That's for me. You're about to see. A snow cone could fit inside a punani, but don't do that. It's kind of rude. But pretend it did. If she mentions she's swelling, don't say 911. Say, I got this. I can hack a punani or a snow cone. So I used to put my lips around a snow cone, turn it upside down when my mom got it for me in front of the vendor, and try to suck all the ice out. I'd hit a few little spots here and there, and then I'd go for the jugular. Then my tongue would go around crazy. It'd turn into a giant, giant little ice cube, like it's still swollen, and then that little triangular dealy going down. I'd pull the ice out, swirl my tongue around, not leave a drop, get all the way down. Feel me? Real simple. Then, then, I put the ice cube back in because my true definition of an orgasm is as follows. She told me to send a chill up her spine, shatter her mind into a billion subatomic particles. Then I asked her to send it back down, that chilled out spine, serotonin, adrenaline, and dopamine, and a wave formed, blew my mind, frosted my face too, squirt, 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 there's the secret, but how do you get there, draw the lines in the sand, and don't demand, 50-50, split it down the middle, really simple, don't forget to meet the family, it's that simple, don't forget, the father might have a shotgun, dude, <laughs> Don't forget about Uncle Herb portraying a 26-year-old female. Don't write swipe on family, dude. It's not dynamite. Anyway, if you're trying to get some dynamite, why don't you do the following? 
Lataka BJ. All fellatio I've come to find is always on a female's mind. And what do you know, mine too. And I like that blush part as well. My first girlfriend did that to me. Her mom said, try it out. And then when it worked, I tried it back. 50-50, there's the secret. 30 to 1 orgasms is way better. They can fire off like a machine gun. I can't. First time mine fired off, I needed a warranty claim with God. I thought it was a one-time shooter. Put it in a glass of milk with an ice cube. Did not work, it diluted. Anywho, girlfriend had a better idea. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to blow your hair. She put the ice cube in her mouth, spanked on my booty. Oral fellatio was outstanding. Mom should have told me. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Guess what happens? She had a cup of coffee and a cup of hot tea. Don't forget the milk. That was the protein for me. Hot and cold? Wow. First time around? Didn't just blow my mind, folks. Genetic pixie dust was abound. You like that? Okay. So I'm trying to spread genetic love pixie di dust around the world. Love. See the anonymous? Dedicated to my mom who taught me the definition of anonymous. Do random acts of kindness to strangers. Go hide under a rock and remain anonymous. I'm dyslexic. Indeed. Can you read my hat? It's certainly not backwards. Can you see? So watch. What anonymous means to me is to modify, change, and improve so we can all see. Anywho, very simple. If you're trying to change an orgasm and do every single algorithm, timing and rhythm, add that to your answer really really simple heart rate and chemicals is all it's about a spank here gently changes the heart rate and the orgasm ain't that all it's about and look it works both ways 50 50 except there's a problem indeed if a girl can have 30 orgasms to my one heaven and the star she picked out is where we're going to indeed because if you tell them 30 to 1 and you round it out to three hours, that Tootsie Pop was just a Tootsie Roll, and it only took three hours. <laughs> Backwards. Now look, we're talking about a snow cone. Don't forget to lick every last drop. If they do the same to you, 50-50 is where the power is at. You don't need handcuffs to restrain somebody you truly love. But when you're on top, put your hands on top of theirs. Don't waste that squeeze into the blanket. Do it in your hand so you feel the responses much better. Anywho, eyes are where it's at. The lips ain't so bad. When I jammed my tongue in her ear, it seemed to end up in her mouth. Imagine that. That's really fun, too. 69's my fave. Cuddling indeed. A tongue battle's going to ensue. And usually I win indeed. A spank here, a spank there will change that heart rate and that dopamine release. Love, cuddling, and teddy bears is all it's about, folks. Two of them playing indeed. Look, I welcome all pronouns. I'm coming from a straight white guy's perspective. All pronouns are welcome to change anything that truly matters. Treating everyone like a human being, 50-50 indeed. I can talk to the whole planet as long as you're good and a white cat like me. This is my rendition of hacking a poonanny. Switching over to the next mother? You thought I was done? I ain't even beginning. I told my first love that I didn't have much experience. Kind of like impractical jokers. A socket and a bolt. Indeed, that's all my mom, I thought, taught me. But snow cones she bought me. And one day while I was not surfing, I was sitting on the beach, wondering why all these, all these girls were buying me snow cones. So, if true love is something you seek indeed, you better know how to hack a poonanny. So, part two rendition. Peanut butter instead of a snow cone. I asked 
my girlfriend's mother that I had a warranty claim indeed. I told her while we were sitting holding hands out on the driveway, while the dad was with the brother at soccer practice, don't do this, could have a shotgun, folks. I told her to pick out a star. Her eyes lit up, and we went a little bit too far. I think she was trying mutual masturbation, but we were just exploring. It was kind of fun. But a star I wanted her to pick out because taking her to heaven was what it was all about, folks. Isn't that what we're after? But that woman turned into a werewolf. She was just a girl. What's that all about? So I told her mother I had a warranty claim. She told me to come to her anytime, have no shame. And I told her a warranty claim was indeed needed to be sent up to God immediately. I told her while I was holding hands and caressing all about, I looked in her eyes and a werewolf came right out. She was foaming at the mouth and staring at me. I'm telling you, dude, she was a werewolf inside, indeed. Her mom fell to the floor laughing her ass off. I told her her daughter tried to bite my nipple, my earlobe, and rip my dick right off. <laughs> That's what she was going for next. I told her I defended myself. Indeed. <laughs> she laughed her ass off, was rolling on the floor with the dog. It was time to feed. She went over to the refrigerator door, got out a little bit of peanut butter. She called up the husband, no BS, to tell him what was the clatter, the matter. <laughs> He started laughing indeed. The mom said, hold on, the dog's got to feed. But this guy knows nothing about orophilacia or hacking a punani. He's about to learn. <laughs> My daughter loves him indeed. She put a little piece of peanut butter on my right cheek. The dog hopped up on the couch and licked it up, wagged his tail. What's this all about? It was just a little piece. It was done and quick. She said, you know what happened? I said the Dale dog wag wagged his tail and was happy as could be. Anywho, she told her husband what was the matter. She came back and she put a big splatter on my nose, man. The dog jumped up on my face, licked it all up, peanut butter all over the place. If you haven't figured it out, she was teaching me oral fellatio, how to hack a punani, have a good time don't have too much clout. Humble and meek, God is for me, folks. But guess what? I think I hacked a punani. She told me if I had excitement like that, I wouldn't have to worry. There'd be nothing that would matter. My mind, heart, and soul, I poured into it indeed. And let me tell you something. Peanut butter went flying all over the place indeed at that picnic. Anywho, there's a Tootsie Pop roll in the bottom and a Tootsie Pop. I wonder if that three hours to get to the center of that Tootsie Pop had anything to do with it in the instructions. <laughs> Anywho, if you're trying to win over a soul indeed like I am, after she shared her mind, her heart, her soul, and her body indeed, come on, the body too. This is getting crazy, you all. You want part three? It's all in the eyes. It's all in the heart. It's all in the mind and the soul. Could it be? Don't be sad. Serotonin, adrenaline, and dopamine is where it's at, folks. And here's part three. When we got to the end, we were playing around with some positions. I thought way back when, I didn't do this to a sheep. Peter, don't harm me. I'm an activist. We're going to pretend she's a sheep to protect the innocent here. I had a date. This is the truth. I took her to Malibu, overlooking a cliff, seeing the ocean and the stars. Could it be? She asked me what kind of enthusiasm I would require. I bent her over. What? What are you doing? I bent her over and told her I needed some fire. Sorry, the cat scared me. You okay? What are you doing? Feeding time. Got to get some peanut butter. Okay, so here we go. Here's the last, the third part indeed. It's a blast. I told her to bend over and pretend she was a sheep. There was a fence there. Come on, get real folks. I'm a gentleman indeed. But I pushed her forward, pretending like she would fall off the cliff. 
Here's the motivation I always seek indeed. She stepped up on her toes, her thighs tightened indeed, all those muscles cramped up so much, her booty was waterproof like a dolphin indeed. Anywho, I told her here's a fact, and I started pushing on her, Jack Jack. She pushed on back with a smile, I saw that blush, and I was on fire. If that's your motivation, don't forget to hold the ponytail and ask Arch to back, because very, very soon, <laughs> fire is going to evolve. Whack, whack. So there's part three indeed, but if you put it all together to me, the only threesome for me is don't forget to involve God. And by the way, here's the finale. There's only three words she said, and then the grand finale. Dear Lord, Oh, God, oh, shit, and hallelujah. Could it be? It's a formula. I didn't cheat. I'm just immensely gifted and blessed and just shared it with you. Coming up next, cattle mutilations. We're going to go from hacking a punani in love and shooting genetic pixie dust all over the planet. Hope my audio checks okay. Anywho. Anonymous. Peace out. Beaker. This is the final reboot, version 3.0. Going to pump it up a little bit. Kitty, you okay? Sorry, buddy. He scared me. Anywho, thank God he didn't bite me again. Uh, next up, uh, some other potential videos, simulation uh, theory, uh, multiverse theory, new propulsion systems, how to stop ransomware. How to hack your security system with your front porch light where you just flick it on three times to enable both your neighbor's motion detector system in case you got zombies walking out at night. And a whole lot more. Thanks for tuning in. Kitty and Beaker saying peace.